Well, good morning, my friends, my fellow meditators, my stoic philosophers. Good morning and welcome to the Stolas Music channel here on Twitch. And it's another wonderful, beautiful morning here in Minnesota. Um, we'll be doing guided meditation this morning, as well as reading from uh, Seneca's letters from a stoic. And no, Seneca did not actually write in English. Um, I think they wrote, and this is going to put my ignorance on full display in terms of ancient history. <laughs> I'm not sure if they wrote and, and wrote and spoke Latin during this period in history, or if they spoke Italian or whatever, whatever it was. I don't, I don't know. Either way. It's an English translation uh, released by Pen Penguin Classics. Um, I don't know if there's an actual author attributed to the translation or if this was like... Oh, Robin Campbell is the, the name of the author that translated letters from a stoic. They're basically letters from... Seneca, who is a philosopher of antiquity. Um, I believe he was also at one point Latin. Yeah, that's what I that's what I suspected was Latin, but I you never know because it really also depended where they were, but I think it was predominantly Latin. There's a chance that it could have been in Greek as well, but eh, slim. But, um, yeah, so we're going to read from that. Um, these are his letters to his uh, friend and counterpart, Lucilius. Pretty insightful. But at some times, um, <laughs> you Google it nice. Thanks, Mel. Um, at some times, though, it, you know, then it starts to read like a letter. He starts to go on about people that may or may not be relevant to us at this point in time or talking about things that are deeply contextual to their history but that aside for the most part there's a lot of really good things that we can hunt for so it's kind of like hunting for mushrooms or something in, in a deep forest bed but before we do that we're going to start with our morning guided meditation our morning meditation uh is we use a focus object and that's our guide you have a couple options where I play a little bit of meditation music here that I'll put on in just a few moments you can use that as your focus yeah Marcus Aurelius and Epictetus wrote in Greek interesting okay um, we'll use the music as a as an object to place our focus on if you wish, another option is focusing on your breathing. I do that constantly. I use my breathing as my meditation object. Um, there's a book that I've been, that I checked out the library that I've been um, trying to make my way through as, as, as time permits. But there's another book called Secular Meditation that goes through a variety of other different techniques and options for mindfulness and meditation. Um, there's lots of different ways you can meditate. You can meditate using um, like a mantra, like a phrase that you repeat, or you can meditate on thinking about a person or a memory. Um, lots of different things you can do. But for the most part, we're just practicing the art of mindfulness and drawing our attention back to this present moment. Seeing as how that is, at least for me, it's a very prevalent issue when you're caught in a moment of stress or distress or anxiety or whatever. Your mind goes into autopilot and starts spiraling into worrying about things that may or may not happen in the future or or might start dwelling on and regurgitating things from the past and then just it becomes this spiral 
And that's where practicing mindfulness and coming back to the present moment helps substantially to cut that down. So you're spending less time worrying and being driven by anxiety and more time actually just breathing, coming back to the present moment and, and then consciously making the effort to focus only on the things that are within your control. So I like to think of stoicism and meditation as like a one, two punch to get yourself back into the present and and onto stable ground because quite honestly when we when we get into moments of anxiety depression anger whatever even i would even say excessive hope or joy about things in the future that we're hoping to be able to do you still have to keep that tempered too because the universe has a is chaotic and has a way of disrupting even the most noble plans. <laughs> it's true. In fact, we were having this conversation last night at our cycling club. We were got on the subject of, I don't know, I think we were talking about like even, we're just basically talking about how even the best plans, you, you know, I was like, tell my friend, when have you ever, it's like count on one hand if you can, how many times you have actually set out to do something and stuff did not go wrong because i think the stoics actually teach you you should plan for shit to go wrong for shit to go south for things to go you know something to go awry and so instead of investing all your time and energy and worrying and all that you can actually redirect that energy into finding creative solutions or things to learn from in what you're experiencing. All right, <clears throat> but we're gonna start out with our meditation. Um, make sure you're sitting someplace comfortable in a place where you won't be disturbed. Shut off the notifications on your phone if you, ask, if you must. And just sit up straight, but not too straight, where it requires effort. Sit as if you're the best version of yourself and loosen up your joints. Loosen up your brow and your forehead. Start taking some deep breaths in slowly. Nice big breaths and out. Just gently, don't force it. Don't put too much effort into it. Just long, slow, deep breaths. And you'll keep this up throughout your meditation. Just really long, slow, deep breaths. In a moment, our meditation music will begin. And when it does, just gently draw your attention to it. And when thoughts come and enter into your mind, and they always will, just, dis just briefly acknowledge the thought if you need to, but don't judge it, don't label it, don't dwell on it. And then draw your attention back to the meditation object of your choice. Let's close our eyes, deep breaths in.
And you may let go of the meditation object. Our meditation is complete for the morning. And we'll move on to reading from the Stoics. Before we do, just take a moment to take some deep breaths and get yourself acclimated with your environment. Good morning, May. Good morning, friends. Oh. <clears throat> All right. Let's read from Seneca, shall we? Let's. It's from his letters from a stoic. This is letter number six. And he's writing to his friend and confidant, Lucilius. I see in myself, Lucilius, not just an improvement, but a transformation. Although I would not venture as yet to assure you or even to hope that there is nothing left in me needed to be changed. Naturally, there are a lot of things about me requiring to be built up or fined down or eliminated. Even this, the fact that it perceives the failing, it was unaware of in itself before, is evident of a change for the better in one's character. In the case of some sick people, it is a matter for congratulation when they come to realize for themselves that they are sick. I should very much like, then, to share this all-so-sudden metamorphosis with my, of mine with you. Doing so would make me start to feel a surer faith in the friendship that exists between us, that true friendship which not hope nor fear nor concern for personal advantage ever sunders that friendship in which and for which people are ready to die i can give you plenty of examples of people who have not been lacking a friend but friendship something that can never happen when mutual inclination draws two personalities together in a fellowship of desire for all that is honorable why cannot it happen because they know that everything, and especially their setbacks, is shared between them. You can't imagine how much of an alteration I see each day bringing about in me. Send me to, you'll be saying, the things you found so effectual. Indeed, I desire to transfer every one of them to you. Part of my joy in learning is that it puts me in a position to teach. Nothing, however outstanding and however helpful, will ever give me any of the pleasure if the knowledge is to be for my benefit alone. If wisdom were offered me on the one condition that I should keep it that, sh that I should keep it shut away and not divulge it to anyone, I should reject it. There is no enjoying the possession of anything valuable unless one has someone to share it with. I shall send you, accordingly, the actual books themselves, and to save you a lot of trouble hunting all over the place for passages likely to be of use to you, I shall mark the passages so that you can turn straight away to the words I approve and admire. I do that all the time in my books. <laughs> like, I remember the first time my daughter Sorry to have a sidetrack here. I remember the first time my daughter saw me like underscoring things and writing in my book. She's like, what are you doing? I'm like these things really speak to me. And I, if I want to be able to quickly come back to it, <laughs> notes, all the things I digress. Personal converse, though, and daily intimacy with someone will be of more benefit to you than any discourse. You should really be here on the spot, firstly because people believe their eyes rather than more than, more than their ears, and secondly because the, law, the road is a long one if one proceeds the way of precepts, but short and effectual if by way of personal example. 
uh, Cleanthus would never have been the image of Zeno if he had merely heard him lecture. He lived with him, studied his private life, watched him as if he lived in accordance with his own principle. Plato, Aristotle, and the host of other philosophers, all destined to take different paths, derived more from Socrates' character than from his words. It was not Epicurus' school, but living under the same roof as Epicurus that turned um, Metrodorus, Hermarchus, uh, and Polynaeus into great men. And yet, I do not summon you to my side solely for the sake of your own progress, but for my own as well. For we shall be of the utmost benefit to each other. Meanwhile, since I owe you the daily allowance, I'll tell you what took my... F oh, the dog. Seriously. <laughs> Deliveries. Meanwhile, since I owe you the daily allowance, I'll tell you what took my fancy in the writings of Hect Hecato today. He says, what progress have I made? I am beginning to be my own friend. That is progress indeed. Such a person, person will never be alone and may be sure he is a friend of all. When's the last time you were able to say that you are a friend to yourself? That's another thought I had about meditation and tomorrow I'm kind of, I think tomorrow we're gonna um, try a different form of meditation. Oh boy, dog, seriously, stop it. I'm thinking of tomorrow morning from tomorrow morning's meditation as an optional focus of and maybe you could even try it out today see if it see what it does for you but um spending time meditating on a moment in your life when you were just doing like just either really struggling or you're making really awful choices or you just felt like a garbage human being and meditating on those times bringing the pictures to your mind and in the same process speaking or mentally speaking compassion to yourself for the things that you have been through and being kind to yourself being kind to the part of yourself when you were less aware of better ways of being and better ways of doing and so kind of a time of compassion for yourself and being merciful to yourself for when you may have been an absolute train wreck of a human being at one point in your life and it doesn't even have to be that dramatic it can be just you know maybe you made some mistakes in your life and then you just focus on those times bringing up the imagery and then speaking compassion to yourself so that's something we're going to try tomorrow and see what it does so well my dear friends here's to a happy thursday it's my day off tomorrow Ooh. I have to tell you, I'm really digging this taking Fridays off every throughout the summer, having that extra day to just get stuff done that I want to do or whatever. Tomorrow, I am going to be spending probably at least half of the day. I'm So I've been working on um, being able to perform the entire Dark Side of the Moon album live. Um, it's hard. Oh my gosh. It was one thing to record it, which was an absolute challenge. Um, but then to go back and to be able to play it all the way through, like selecting different instruments for different pieces or different songs. 
in some of the songs I'm actually playing a couple different instruments um, you know doing keys in some parts and guitar and some other parts um, it's a challenge so I'm gonna probably spend the good part of tomorrow working on that and I haven't decided if I want to stream that process or not I don't know how much it would be really interesting to watch someone practice and rehearse and wrestle through frustration and maybe it might be interesting in a voyeuristic way for you but <laughs> I don't know I I might just take that one little bit of added pressure off myself and not stream the rehearsal and practicing all that um, but anyways thanks so much for being here my friends for our morning meditation and uh, reading from stoic philosophy both classical and modern you can find these videos out at youtube.com slash stolas or you can also find them at stolas.com um, but please join us for morning guided meditation every Monday through Friday, 7.30 a.m. Central Time, UTC, or 12.30 UTC. Uh, or, and you can come back also for Tuesdays and Thursdays for studio sessions for live music production every uh, Tuesday and Thursday at 7 p.m. Central, 0 hundred hours UTC. And lastly, the relay station every Sunday evening at 7 p.m. Central, 0 hundred hours UTC. Um, this Sunday, we don't have a featured artist on the relay station. I had a lapse in the weeks of when I had submissions coming in, and I already had the program in set, so there's no featured musicians. Except for... Uh, I do have one new, one new brand new piece that'll air at the relay station. All right, my friends, you take care. You have a fantastic, fantastic day. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to the people around you. Show them love and compassion because we're all interconnected and we are all the stuff of stars. Thanks so much for being here and you have a fantastic day. We'll see you maybe this evening oh this evening um i am i may be late to stream so here's here's what we're gonna do tonight stream is gonna start late so it's not gonna be starting at 7 p.m because i'm getting together with a few people this evening for kind of hang out and stuff so it might start around eh, eight maybe and then what I'll do is we'll we'll do a just a music night. So we'll I'll open up the requests um, and we'll play um, music, and I'll be playing music from the relay station along with some improv. So that's what we're gonna do tonight. So it'll be kind of just a fun improv um, relay station music night. So sound good? So bring a friend. All right, um, we will see you later, friends. Uh, tonight, probably 8 p.m. Central, which would be 0100 hours UTC. All right. Take care, friends.